Hello, everyone. Welcome to Geekonomics. We're back. It's another show. It's another day. No, it's going to be nice day. today. I hear it's supposed to be sunny and it's been a change from what's been re- recently. And that's a good thing because I'm done with winter. I'm over. Win- winter is over, baby. Oh, uh, I am over it. First day of spring is upon us. Um, it's going to be 70 on Friday. Oh, I know. So, I, I mean, uh, sounds like Saturday is going to be rainy, but we'll be playing board games at our friend Hutzel's house. So one yes, matter to watch. will be. Yes. Um, a lot of uh, trailers this week. Yes, not much uh, in the news, much in the way of news or any kind of like big things that came out that we're going to talk about at least. Yeah, but um, I want to talk about one thing because we okay. are in Enfield, Connecticut, and we talk about we are in Enfield, Connecticut, or you're in Enfield, Connecticut. Well, I'm in right now because I'm at work. So yes, um. We have the 2022 musical lineup of the Enfield 4th of July, which was canceled for the last two years. Yes. Yes, it was. Yes. Yes. So this is is a big return. Yeah. So they pulled out all the stops, spared no expense, emptied the whole entire (laughs) treasure trove of money. Bitcoin. It's the best (laughs) talent they could find. They went around uh, and found, scoured the nation looking for the best bands to put out on the stage in Enfield, Connecticut during the Fort July Town Celebration. The Taste of Enfield will be there. There'll be the Kid Zone. There'll be the Craft Fair. There'll be fireworks. But there'll also be fireworks on the stage. Because on Friday of the event, they will have... Brian? I thought you were going to do it. Oh, I don't know. I, I I know Trailer Trash is opening, and I like Trailer Trash. They're a good band. Yeah, they're all right. They're a country uh, cover band, but they do a good job. Uh, they're exactly what the title states. If well, you they like... play all over the place. They play all around the area. They're like Aquanet. Right. They play yeah. all over the place. Oh God, Aquanet! Jesus, it's like Highly, my my my, put... my my sister works with one of the guys in Aquanet. You put on Rock One Hundred Two, and you literally listen to the entire playlist of Aquanet. Yeah. And you heard from the original people. Yeah. I'm not knocking them, but come on. Yeah. It's just, it, it, I guess if you, if you listen to Rock 102 and you just want to hear the same songs you hear on Rock 102 live, I guess Aquanet and Trailer You're like 10 to 15 years older than us, Brian. That's all you want. I guess so. I guess when you gave <laughs> up on your musical tastes, that's all you want. Well, that was their tastes. And they just you got to remember, up. there's people like that were born before us. No. That like no. different music than we No, are. I don't believe that much. Like in 10 years, there's gonna be like you're gonna we're gonna be going to like Sonny's place or someplace. And there's gonna be some band named no. uh hash pipe that's gonna be playing Weezer and Foo Fighters well, there and Blink 82. There are bands like that. I'm saying that band will be out there, we'll be going to those things, and there'll be kids saying the same thing about us. I'll just I can't believe my parents and my f- uncles want to go see this band. I will just go listen to the real thing. But that's like, just like, like Ty will be telling his kids at school, oh, my dad and his friends want to go listen to stupid band this weekend. They're taking me, making me go with them. All right. All right. Well, okay. Anyway, Friday is trailer trash in Last Licks. I have no idea what Last Licks is. I, I, at first, I thought it was a porno movie. Oh, wait. Wait a, wait a minute. Wait a minute. This is the town of Enfield, sir. Um, the classy Sat- establishment. Saturday is going to be Slaughter. I don't Slaughter. know what it's an eighties band. What? Yeah, but I couldn't name uh, one song. I'm sure you could name a Slaughter song if you if uh, if I told you name of one of the Slaughter songs, you would know uh, exactly what it was. Vixen and Autograph. Now I know Autograph. I know one of their songs. It's on Vice City, I believe. Autograph. Uh, that's how I know them, and I like that one song. Which I couldn't name, but I if I heard it, I would know an autograph song. Um, just some slaughter songs for you, just so you right, I don't know right. let's, any let's, of these. Yeah. Uh, Up all night. No. Fly to the angels. No. Spend my life. No. Days gone by. That's something like a, a name that's uh, been used for multiple songs. Like the Offspring has a song called that. Do you know yeah. any of these songs? I don't know. No. The Wildlife. No. I don't know. I need these. Um, Vixen. 
I don't know who they are. Like I said, autograph, I slightly know who they are. Um, other bands are Back in Black, Last Child, Beyond Purple, Knucklehead, and King Cool. Do not play any of the music because we do not want our podcast to get kicked off. I'm not saying play any music. All right, don't play any. Sunday. Vixen, Vic, Vixen songs, Edge of a Broken Heart. It's a lady band. I think there's actual, there's lady lead singers. It's like a whole lady band from the 80s. Well, hence the name. Uh, you want to know by now? I think I know that song actually. Uh, crying. Is that the Aerosmith song? No, this I'm is the. Uh, no, different song, different song. They run bands reunited actually, and that's how they got back together. Oh. The autograph. All I'm all I know is, is did they seen the song autograph? Or is that a different band? They also sing Turn Up the Radio. Oh, yes. Autograph sings Turn Up. That's the song I know. Okay. Every Generation. Send Her to Me. Loud and Clear. She Never Looked That Good to Me. These are just some of the hits Autograph put out. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's move on. Let's move okay. on. Right. I, already, I already did the... I already listed the last... Sunday, Michael Allman Band. Which I'm assuming is an Allman brother or son of a brother. Ah, uh, son of a brother. You son of a brother. Doesn't he have a band for you? Son of a brother. Son of a brother. Michael Allman Band. I don't know. I don't know anything. I know is when I type it in, the first thing that pops up is Michael Allman arrested. Oh, <laughs> interesting. Well, he's got to make um... bail by playing the Enfield Town Green. Yes, he is one of the Almond Brothers. Oh, I like the Almond Brothers. Yes, and I'm sure he'll do that one song that we all enjoy from the Almond Brothers. Yes, yes. yes. Um, RTM. In that writer. RTM reunion. I don't know who RTM is, but they're having a reunion. Who's RTM, okay. Mark? I'm more interested in who's RTM. RTM. RTM reunion, or is that just? It's a, it just says RTM slash reunion, so I'm assuming it's a reunion of RTM, but I don't know who RTM is to care about a reunion. Oh, it's a military reunion. Oh, okay. So it's not a band. Interesting way they put that in there. Yeah. Weird. So they're not singing, they're like they're not doing like an acapella thing. It's just RTM. Oh, there's a band featuring the band RTM. Oh, that makes more sense. Who's RTM? I don't know. Um, Johnny Six Gun, which I've heard of. Cold Train. Like, they're like the cousins of Coldplay and I don't know. Train. But Cold Train. I don't know who they are. And Battle of the Bands winner. So that's so RTM team. is yeah. a band. Yeah. It's a local cover band. They okay. play songs from the late 70s to the present. Okay. That's cool. Yes. All right. Uh, Johnny Six Gun, Cold Train, and Battle of the Bands winner. That is your 2022 musical lineup for the Enfield Fourth of July Town Celebration, which is coming back. This year, they pulled out all the stops. Here's the, uh, the description for Cold Train on their website. Yeah. It's not just another band playing Southern rock songs, but a touring group of road seasoned world class professional musicians okay. delivering the heart and soul of the, mer- the music genre. Well, there you go. Cool. They should be good. Yeah. Should be a good time. Yeah. You get your uh, food, get your fried you, foods, you get your expensive beer. Find your, bring your blanket, throw it on the town green. Uh, and, uh, and watch. Um, sit under the, the stars and listen to some killer music come from the Ardioli Dodge stage. I'm assuming it's still called that. I don't know. I don't know. It's usually some car dealership that sponsors it. I think it should be the Geekonomics stage. I think we should sponsor it. I don't know if we have that kind of cash. Well, be a big, big donation to the. Uh, Enfield, the town of Enfield. Fourth of July Town Celebration Committee. They should know that we are 
We should host we, it. We're Go the biggest there. thing in the town. So. We are. We are uh, local media moguls. We should host yeah. something. Yeah, I mean, everybody at least knows. the battle of the bands or something. I'm not hosting. Don't we know somebody on that? Doesn't we? Aren't we friends with anyone who? I know Vicky Graybon used to be connected to that somehow. I don't know. You can host. I'm not. I'm not going up there trying to pronounce names. Well, I'll handle the names. You just handle the. Uh, we couldn't handle the, handle the names when we did that Girl Scout thing. That was yeah. the worst. I could handle. It. You're just terrible at it. No, you were pretty bad too. We were both bad. It just got really. It's just. A, it was just a bad situation. It's like a. Girl Scout fashion show inside the infield square. This is when the infield square was hopping. Yeah. Well, when I was at the sh- uh, the car show this weekend. Yeah, how'd that go? Transitioning to another story. Let's go. Let's also go. connects to what we're talking about. Let's move away from the town yes. green. Yes, yes. move away from the town green and the Girl Scouts. I want to ask um, you, well, well, first, Mark. Yes. Uh, congratulations on a successful event. I saw thank your you. photos on Facebook. I didn't put it on, but thank you. Well, it was your first time being there. Yes, first time having a well, second time having a booth for the series. Yes. Yeah. So successful for you. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's good. It was it was, it was pretty neat. So go on with your story. Uh, well, like I would like I was saying, I was at the uh, Mark's Northeast Motorsports Expo, which is at the Big E this past weekend, uh, for my kart series. Then. Northeastern Champ Cart Series. And uh, one of the vendors at the show was SSU Photo Designs. They're located inside the Enfield Square Mall. <laughs> really? Why? Yes. That's what I asked them. Yeah, that would be my first question. But I did say to the person that was working there that I was talking to, I said, you definitely just said the most Enfield sentence I've heard in years. And the sentence that she said was, we're located inside the Enfield Square Mall, right between the church and the Bath and Body Works. There's a church in there now? There's a church in the mall. I had no idea. Oh, God. Right, so How that's the most Enfield you? sentence I've ever heard. So what was the reasoning that they're there? Uh, they do, uh, they're a design company, and they do like, uh, like tumblers. And T-shirts, they do like print, like uh, personalized printed products. Yeah, tumblers, yeah. water bottles, kids cups, mugs, socks, pet products, shirts, holiday items, pillows and other photo gifts, jewelry, masks, gaiters, kitchen gadgets, stickers, window clings, simple vinyl lettering, graphic design, sublimation blanks, subla glaze coatings, subprint transfers, and a lot more. They're also the home of the. Bluetooth music tumbler. But they'll put anything on like anything. So there's their there's their the card there so you can see. So basically yeah. they there's one of these shops in like every mall almost. Yeah. Malls that exist still. Yes. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh I can't imagine business is booming in the Amphil Mall. I uh I don't I can't remember the last time I was in there. I went to Target. Yeah, that's all we last did. week. That was the last time to, I was like last thing I was. You go to Target and you leave. You don't go with that. Well, I went to Target because last week, uh, since we're, I'm assuming you're now into this as well, the uh, Lego uh, Star Wars helmets came out last week. But were they at Target? I thought you ordered them online. I got two of them online, but the uh, Death Trooper helmet is a Target exclusive. Oh, so you have to go to Target to get or go to Target online to get it gotcha. or Lego.com to get it. I didn't buy them yet. I have the Mandalorian. Well, I have all three of them. Mandalorian. Yeah. I have it in my uh, when I get paid next, I'll probably go for Mandalorian. Yes. Home. So I've got the, the Death Trooper sitting at home and the uh, Mandalorian and uh, Rogue Five Squadron helmet, Luke's helmet, X-Wing helmet is both of them are on order from lego.com as we speak. They're on their way to my house. Nice. Man, so, you're ready to rock. I got it. Yeah. I'm I'm fully addicted to those things. I could tell. You Mark is ready to go. Yeah. Um speaking of Star Wars, Mark, the Obi-Wan Kenobi trailer. Yes. Um we should talk about that. We should. It was epic. 
Um, we are getting the first live action look at um, now they were in Jedi Fallen Order and they were in the Inquisitors. They were also in Clone Wars. Right, they're also in Clone Wars, but I'm not familiar with that. I'm familiar with them being yes. in Jedi Fallen Order. And they're also in comic books and books and stuff. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of cool. Um, yes, the Inquisitors are badass. Yeah. So Obi-Wan, it looks like we're going to get more than just Naboo. We're going to get uh, Tatooine. Other, Tatooine. We're going to get tons of... Um, Naboo is where Anakin was. Yes. Uh, I'm thinking Naboo. Yes. Okay. But we're going to get more than just that one planet, which is great. It's not, it looks like he's, there's Actually, something. That's where Padme going on. was from, not where Anakin was from. Padme was from Naboo? Yes. And so was Senator Palpatine. Oh, well, Senator Palpatine, you know. He became the Emperor. We know that. Yes. And then he, he and then. Anakin he, was from Tatooine. He just magically came back. Yes. Okay. Yes. Right, now we got it all straight. Yes. So many sand planets. So there's no sand on Naboo. It's a it's a grassy planet. And no, I'm talking about the other thing. Water. Yeah, I know because you know Anakin does not like um, sand because it, it's coarse and it gets in his skin. Yes, you're thinking of um, the, the one that uh, Ray was on. That's the other sand planet. Anakin was born on a planet with all sand. Tatooine. Tatooine, yes. 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 I yes. said, I think you were thinking of the other planet name that uh, Ray was on. What was the name of that planet? I can't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Aku? Something like that? Kachu? Kachu? Kacha? I can't remember. Kachu? Kacha? I don't know. Whatever. Does it matter at this point? No. Um, no. Obi Wan Kenobi. Anyway, we're gonna he's gonna be going everywhere. What I think is gonna happen is the Inquisitors obviously are put there to go after any lingering Jedi that might be in hiding. That's the story from Clone Wars and Fallen Jedi and Fallen Jedi as well. So I think but the that's thing what with the Inquisitors is, is they are what uh, uh, they're basically like the Knights of Ren in the newish Jedi. They're like if with if the Knights of Ren were done correctly, yeah, um, they are like the uh, hit squad for Darth Vader, right? That is sent out to find Jedi that are in hiding, that are in hiding, and yeah. lure them out. And then Darth Vader would then come in and kill said Jedi. Um, now it's interesting. We see a scene where I, if I'm not mistaken, like a foot in the air. Now, does does Luke or so, I want to say it could be Luke uses the force by mistake or something that makes them come down to that planet and are like, there's something going on here. We 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 sense someone use the force. We sense yes. there's a Jedi here. Yes. And Obi Wan Kenobi is there to kind to probably he's protecting Luke, but yeah. he probably doesn't know who the Inquisitors are yet. He could. He probably notices that they're down there. They're looking for someone. Well, this takes place five years after. Yeah, Luke's a kid. We see the we see the kid Luke. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the story is supposedly takes place five years after uh, Revenge of the Sith happens. Right. So Luke would be five. Five six old, years old. Around old. There. Yeah. And yeah. he could possibly use the Force mistakenly, not yes. knowing um if he was which i don't think him. that's how it goes about i think that's just a random side thing that he's just watching over luke but i think there's another jedi that appears on tatooine the red herring the red herring for the trailer yes know? that i think that he's looking that is looking for obi-wan but accidentally gets caught up in the inquisitor thing and then right. obi-wan goes and tries to and tries to help this jedi or they could be looking for Obi Wan, but Obi-Wan... I don't think. Well, I don't think that they realize they're looking for Obi Wan because I think he's not. Because it's still, I think the story is going to be that they're still like, they just think he's. They don't think he's there. But I think they stumble across him. Yeah, because and then, of someone else because of somebody else, and then that's when Darth Vader gets involved. Yeah, because he's like, I want to be the one that takes out Obi Wan and Kenobi. He left me for dead on the side of a 
well, lava planet. Obi Wan did have the high ground. Yes, he I mean now have... there's a mountain named after him, so now he is the high ground. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he is. He has all the high ground now. Mark. Yes. Um. So. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting show. It starts off in May, right? We're yeah, May over. 29th, I think. Yeah, it's only like six that. episodes. But we're not that far away from that. Even I closer mean, to that is Moon Knight, which is like next week. Yeah, Moon Knight and the Halo show start next week. Yeah. Um, um, I think Moon Knight is the 20 something. Um, okay, I'm looking at my calendar. I can tell you exactly. Moon Knight is like the 24th. I think March no. 30th. Yeah, Halo is the 24th. Yes. And Moon Knight is the 30th. Yes. Moon, so, uh, Halo comes out the week before. Yeah. Moon Knight. So we'll have basically another Wednesday and Thursday show. Well, yes. I will. I will yes. be watching both. Well, Wednesday, Friday. Wednesday and Thursday. Oh, is that 30th to Thursday? Yes. Or Wednesday? Yes. Yes. Yes, you're correct. Wednesday and Thursday will be the new two. Yes. It's, we are not having shows every week to look forward to. Yes. I have not really been watching much of anything. I've been watching my normal shows, but nothing like I was before. Yeah. Um, well, it's nice to kind of have a little lull to kind of accomplish things. Yeah. So, I mean... <laughs> it, There's other things I could be doing, and I should probably do them. I am looking forward to the Obi-Wan show probably yes. out of the two the most i'm hoping it's good these are both it only six good. episode seasons yeah these are short like uh hawkeye was right perfect yeah and then you know that will take us into the middle of uh april and then we'll be a couple weeks away from uh, dr strange we'll be a couple weeks away from i think moon knight leads us right into dr strange basically no, it, Doctor Strange, doesn't that come out at the beginning of May? So Moon Knight would lead into Doctor Strange, right? That's what I'm saying. Moon Knight. Yeah, you said? Yeah, Moon Knight. The last Moon Knight is on my anniversary, the 4th of May. And then Doctor Strange comes out that That Thursday, weekend. Yeah. The, the next day. Yeah. Oh, man. I'm, a, I'm pumped, Mark. I'm pumped. We're getting close. Doctor Strange and is going to be... Uh, Spider-Man oh. No Way Home uh, came out digitally today. They moved it up a week because yeah. of torrents were running rampant. Yeah. Um, and they felt like if they didn't get the digital out now, everybody was bootlegging the damn thing yeah. some, for somehow. So the digital is out today. I'm going to purchase it on Friday digitally. And the physical is still coming out next month, which I'll still buy. Uh, I'm just so excited to rewatch that movie. Yeah. Um, there's a bunch of deleted scenes I heard too. Yes, tons. Yeah. Tons, tons, tons. Um, and this is like one of those movies where I'd really want to see the behind the scenes. Yeah, me too. Like making of story. Yeah. To kind of see like what, it, like what all the efforts they went into to keep these guys secret. Just to see like that, that story of them like first meeting each other on set and everything, all of them wearing their costumes and everything for the first time again um now you tell me there's another moon knight trailer there is it's called secret agent it's like a minute and a half long part of me like i'm it doesn't really show anything all right i'm not gonna watch it i'm gonna watch it just shows him being badass in moon knight gotcha the miss marvel trailer which i have not seen that just dropped like an hour ago all right let's talk about that i'm gonna yeah. bring it up we can cut you can cut this out. I'm gonna watch that comes it. out June eighth, I believe. June eighth on Disney Plus. Yeah. Um I'm gonna watch the trailer here. I gotta find the trailer. I guess it's in our chat. I guess I can go right there. Right, yeah, it. I dropped it in the chat. All right, hold on. Um we could talk about that. Let's let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's do it. Watch the thing that makes the things happen. Come on, it's so slow here. Chat, I'm opening you. I'm clicking on you. Oh my gosh, I could have sent you the link by now. Probably did. All right, hold on. All right. 
it does look really good. Yeah. Cut that off. It, it starts off with the weekend. It ends with the weekend. And well, it, it made me want to like the one thing that trailer did is it made me want to listen to the weekend. <laughs> like, um, oh man, I missed listening to the weekend. Um, but anyway, that's a good trailer. I mean, it it seems to hold true to the comic book and to um like I'm more familiar with the Avengers game. That's like uh, I said, that's my the only place I'd ever like known of Miss Marvel was from the Avengers game. So now Miss Marvel looks it is an it, um She's Indian. She looks yes. up to the Avengers. She looks up to um, um, Captain Marvel. Captain Marvel, and yes. that's where she gets her looks. Her yeah. her costume, is yeah, similar to that. Um, and um, yeah, it's got the high school. It's a high, it, you know, it's going to play more into the high school things. I think yeah. for a younger audience, a female, probably a female, younger audience. I mean, I'm sure we can enjoy it too. Um, but I think like probably a good show to watch if you have kids. Yeah. Um, like it's probably, you know, we're getting Moon Knight was gonna be for the adults. Yes. All the all, all the Netflix stuff that I really didn't think was gonna land on Disney Plus is gonna be in Disney Plus. So yeah. you gotta give something to the families, you gotta give something to the kids. And I think this is their solution. And I yeah, this is gonna lead into the the big movie with Captain Marvel in um in Miss Marvel. They're the Marvels. Be, the Marvels. Yeah. Uh they're gonna be in the movie together. Which, yeah. I'm excited because I like uh, that character, so I'm excited yeah. to see the movie. I don't know if I'm going to watch the show because I it, it's not it's not geared towards me, and I, that's fine. I'm happy it's geared towards a younger audience because you have to get a younger audience into the MCU yeah. because the audience that has been with it, we're all getting older now. Yes, I mean, how long has the MCU been going on for? over 10 years now yes. the same thing they did with the comic books that's why they started her yeah. comic book up was to kind of like re-bring in a new character that yeah. gets a new generation into the miles like the morales gateway drug. It's miles like morales. the gateway drug yeah. to marvel you 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 create younger new characters yeah. to get a younger audience because you have to or you're yes. just going to do go away like the dinosaurs yes or it'd be dc and just have the same characters forever and ever and ever right um so i mean i might check out the first episode to see what it's all about but who knows maybe i'll like it enough to continue it's and, like it's, but, i don't know yeah. i think marvel is falling for me marvel is turning into star wars where it's like if you put it out i'll watch it it's like required watching like to know what's going on and everything you want to have all the chapters kind of like you can't like miss a chapter if you feel like you might miss something or something might happen in this that you might need to know when you get to the next thing yeah, I'm sure we'll be talking about it. I, yeah. I'll just see how the first episode is. If if I feel like it's well, it's not geared towards me, I'll stop. Yeah, it'll be in the summer too, so you know it's gonna yeah. be this fun little June, June, yeah, and June. So that's cool. I mean, I did like the trailer. I look yeah. like a lot of fun. I recognize uh, the beats from the game. Yeah, the same thing sort of happened. You know, if you haven't played the Avengers game. It, if you just play it on easy and just play yeah. the uh, campaign, yeah, just to blow through it to get the story, you'll get her story, yeah. and that's all. That's that's yeah, all, it's like her all. origin story. So it's basically the same thing as I think the show is going to be, which is cool. Yeah, but it's also like it very much gives that Scott Pilgrim kind of feel the way that they're storytelling. The trailer. If that's going to be in the if the show is going to be that same way, I don't know if it's going to be the same. I feel like oh, yeah, the trailer. But, yeah. I mean, could be. I don't yeah. know. I guess we've got to wait and see um yeah it looks like a fun time yeah um god there was something else mark um halo moon knight kenobi no i know but miss marvel no gosh darn it there was something this is why i usually write everything down uh i don't remember um william hurt Oh yeah, so William Hurt passed away. Yes. Um, he was under Bolt MCU. Ross, wasn't he? Like that was his name or something. Yeah, he was in the MCU. Yes. Um, he was actually in Black Widow. I think the last time we he saw was him. he was at the very end. Yeah. But he was um, the only character that like made it through. Hulk, Incredible Hulk. Hulk. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, seventy-one. I didn't Besides know abomination, him. actually. No, yeah. I didn't know he was but... seventy-one years old. Yeah. Yeah. So they must have did some de aging on his face when he was in Black Widow. Yeah, they did. Um, yeah. he passed away, uh, which is sad. And then, um, 
uh, Mr. Mochismo, the wrestler there, died. Scott Hall, also yeah. otherwise known as Razor Ramon. No, no, Mark. It's Razor, Razor Ramon. Ramon. The craziest thing about Razor Ramon. He's a horrible wrestler. Well, that was the era of bad gimmicks. Yes, he was a bad gimmick. He was my least favorite. When he came on, man, I booed him. Well, I, I, well, I just, like, I, when I posted about it last night, I said, he made toothpicks cool for my generation. Like, I don't know about you, but every time I saw a toothpick, and I was like, I got to, like, I put that in my mouth, and I walked around like I felt like I was Razor Ramon, and I talk like this, and I'm a bad guy. And he, say hello to the bad guy. Yeah, yeah. He was I was that like when I was a kid, that was what I did. I used to walk around, I grab a toothpick, and I'd like and I oh, oh, I'd take the toothpick out and throw it at somebody. Yeah, horrible. Razor Moon was horrible. the man. Razor Moon was the man. I don't know. I don't think so. I mean, uh, he, he to me, he was right up there with Toucan Sam, the toucan guy. Um uh, ever um Coco Beware. Coco Beware. He was right up there with Coco yeah, Beware. The parrot. Okay. I knew. Blow his arms around. Watching Russell League as a kid. If I saw Coco Beware, he was going to lose. If I saw Razor Ramon, he could possibly lose. The Repo Man, he was going to lose. Oh, Repo I Man. Mean, they had the goon who was a hockey player. Uh, it, and, like, if they wrestled someone bigger than them, you knew they were going to ru- lose. But if they wrestled, a, like, a no-name guy, you're like, oh, they're going to get a win. That was, the, that was the era, though, man. That was, like, when I first remember getting into wrestling because i remember getting into it was at the tail end of like the big like hulk hogan hulk, uh, roddy piper yeah like that era was like that's, just ending when i first got into wrestling that's when i got into wrestling yeah as a kid so and then- it was like when raw first started on tv the first time they had monday night shows and it was like you were saying it was like that it was like coco beware i remember junkyard dog yeah, Junkyard Dog. Sergeant Slaughter was on G.I. Joe. Yeah. Oh, and Heartbreak he... Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels. When Sergeant Slaughter had the flamethrower and he fucking... He lit Hulk Hogan's head on fire when he opened the yeah. door. Yeah. And I was, like, devastated that all of a sudden Sergeant Slaughter was a good guy on G.I. Joe. And then, like, he was, like, this horrible he became, person. Like, during the Kuwait, during the uh, Iraq War, he became yeah. a bad guy. Yeah. I don't, I, I, I was so weird. Um, the Iron I, Sheik. I was really invested when it came down to the Undertaker, I'm not Undertaker. Um, uh, yeah, the Undertaker and uh, hey. the Warrior. Oh, the Ultimate, Ultimate Warrior. Warrior. Yeah. yeah. I love the Ultimate Warrior. Um, who didn't? He was cool. Macho Man uh, Randy Savage. Yeah. Macho, yeah. Who Your doesn't brother. Like? Macho Man Randy Savage, Jake the Snake. Um, those Jake were. The Snake. I used to love Jake the Snake. Roddy Piper was my ultimate favorite. Diesel. Of all time. I don't remember Diesel. He used to come out and he'd have the uh, truck horn. And like the big like 18-wheeler would come on the screen. I think he so. Just tall. He was Kevin Nash. He was just a tall guy. And they just yeah, called I... him Diesel. And that was his gimmick. Um, but yeah, uh, Razor Ramon, quite the character. Um, but he... I guess he had three heart attacks. As we know, yeah, he had massive Jeez. drug issues and alcohol issues. A lot of these guys did. Yeah, but he was like really. He had it was like well documented. Like even during events, he had some issues. But I'll never forget the day they left. Him and uh, Kevin Nash left the WWF at the time. Yeah, and they went to uh, WCW and showed up like in the crowd. And that was like the biggest thing. I was like, oh my gosh. Razor Ramon and Diesel. I never watched WCW. I knew Rick. That was like 96, 90s, like around that time frame. WCW to me was like the generic WWF. I did not like anybody on there other than Ric Flair, who ended up going to WWF down when WCW closed and came back. Yeah. Well, no, he went even before then. He got fired by WCW, showed up on WWF, won the the Royal Rumble won the belt, then lost it to Hogan, I believe, or someone like that. Yeah, yeah. Then went back to WCW again. Yeah, it got all so so confusing with the company. Yeah, I couldn't keep track of that. Yeah. Um. Also, Mark, our 
you're going to talk about the big news that, uh, you know, someone just couldn't stay retired? He never retired. He did retire. This is, the I, only thing he did is say such, something on Instagram. That's such bullshit. How he goes, I never said I was retiring. Then you you said all these nice things and everybody reported. Oh, no, I'm just saying. But officially, if you go, if you look even back. Even you, I'm, even me. We both oh, know. I'm, podcast. Saying, I'm not saying. But if you actually look at it, he never officially retired because he never handed in his paperwork. Dude. So he never technically, a, he's going by now. He never technically retired. He is such. So. He re- he realized being at home, doing nothing. That's what I said to Claire. I'm like, he took the garbage out for the first couple times. And he's like, well, this sucks. I'm going back to playing football. <laughs> what do you mean? I have to like take the kids to school and stuff. I know. Seriously. I, I mean, come on. This how many is times boring. Times? I don't he's want to be he's, he's At this point, he's turning it to kiss. Now every year, he's going to say he's well, going to retire. This, point, this is his first time he said he was retiring. But then he's going to retire again. Well, I think the next he's time not gonna, gonna be, I think the next time will be the real one. It better think. be because people are going to get sick of sending him. I think what wishes. happened was now this is my own conspiracy theory. I have no basis for this, nothing whatsoever. But I think he left the Buccaneers, retired, and then the Buccaneers couldn't find anyone to replace him <laughs> because they want to win the Super Bowl. So they want to win games, and they're like, "There's no one else out here. Everyone else is like taken." Everyone else got signed by other people, and they're like, well, we're up Shit's Creek. So I think they called him up, because the thing was, this past weekend, the owners of the Buccaneers flew him all the way to England to watch a soccer game. And, like, they, like, made this big shtick deal about it at the soccer game that he was there, and, you know, pomp and circumstance, and then took him down the field after the game and met, like, Cristiano Ronaldo, who's, like, another, like, big... It's a huge hot, uh, soccer star, international soccer star. And the, he asked him, he's like, Christian Toronto asked Brady, he's like, so are you really done? Or are you just like, are you going to come back? And Brady was kind of like, I don't know. I don't know. He's like, you're not done. You still could come back and win. I don't know why you retired. It made no sense. Then the next day, news comes out, Brady's coming back. So I think there was some kind of, like, hey, we need your help here. We're not going to do anything without you as quarterback. So they, get back here. They probably offered him some big money. So I think there's something going to happen. You're going to see something down the road. Tom Brady might end up owning or being a partial owner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers down the road somehow. Who the hell knows? Uh, but let's see how many times he retires between now and. I think you'll get one more and that'll be it. I think uh, he's going to do it one more time. I don't think that's, he's not that kind of person. I don't think. But well, we'll see. Who thought he would come out and, and, and stick everybody like with some weird technicality that we all perceived as retirement? Yeah. He didn't he didn't once stop anybody from saying I'm not retiring. He goes, No, I'm retiring. Yeah. So it doesn't make any sense. But just from hey, an Instagram post. Yeah. So I guess um he's back. He's back. He's back. The world keeps on spinning. Yeah, I guess. Maybe he could win one more yeah, before he retires. That would be cool. That'd be interesting. I, I mean, I was kind of hoping they would have they would they were gonna go all the way for this past Super Bowl, but I watched that one game that they were the they were ahead in that way, and then the Rams got them. That was a good game. That was yeah. a really good game. Yeah. So, um and yeah, no, it'd be interesting. I mean, I know the one person that's happy about him coming back is probably Bren Roethlisberger, the quarterback from the Steelers that retired because if they if brady had stayed retired they more than likely would have went into the hall of fame together and he not he ben russell would not have been the top guy going in it would have been tom brady right the star and he would have been the warm-up act for tom brady's speech but now at least he gets to go in by himself and be like the star of his retirement now so he probably sent tom a nice card thanking him for on retiring <laughs> He probably did. Thank you for making my retirement actually important again. Sent him an edible cake. An edible arrangement. Edible arrangement. Of avocados. <laughs> um, well, Mark, I mean, anything else? Anything uh, just else? I know at the end of this month, uh, next we got week. Next week? No. It's not on. the end of the month yet. I mean, I know we're halfway yeah, there. Yeah, next weekend. But... Next Sunday. Yeah, what's next? Is uh, Plainville. 
the 20th? Cliffscon. The 27th. 27th. Yeah, oh. Plain, Cliffscon in Plainville. Oh. So. Maybe I'll go. Out. Maybe yeah. I'll go. Yeah, Where should be a good time. I don't think I have anything going on. No, yeah. the 27th, I, I'm recording, so I don't think I can go. Okay. Um, it happens all day, so I don't think you All can. right. I can go in the morning. Yes. Ooh. It's like, it's like, I don't know what time you're recording. At two. Uh, How you guys so, stop your show? We never. I mean, we're doing once, once in a Speaking while. Speaking about retiring. <laughs> Speaking we, of Kiss. Yeah, we're bad. yeah, you're just as bad. I know. I yeah. yep. <laughs> Twin weeks on rap reunion tour. Um, we decided <laughs> just to put out a show when we see fit. That's it. So you didn't oh, yeah. retire. You just we, just we ended the show, but we came back. <laughs> We're Brady. You're right. We Brady. Yeah, we pulled so you're Brady. You're complaining about Brady, and you're, you guys are the same exact thing. I don't care. You're retired. <laughs> we're stopped doing the show. But we might still do the show if something interests us, right. which is going to be a monthly occurrence. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> yep. <laughs> Pretty much. <sighs> yeah. Wow. It's hard to let go, I guess. I we, guess we, we enjoy doing it, but it's 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 easier when it's just once in a while. Yeah, it's mo- so much easier. Yeah. Um, it's also tough when there's not much to talk about anymore about a show that's been off the air for how long now? Four years, five yeah. years now. Um, but, so it's kind of tough to. I mean, how many times can you talk about the same episodes over and over again? Well, we're not talking about like when people are like uh, our friend wrote a book, so we have a mom. Yeah, I'm saying know, like yeah, stuff, stuff like that. that. I mean, yeah, yeah, exactly. There's yeah. no reason to go week week anymore. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Um, but other than that, Mark, I guess you know next week the Halo show will be coming out. Yes, the on... Halo show comes out. We'll be talking about that. The premiere of Halo reviews for the first episode are already out, and people, I'm oh. staying away from them. The reviews are already out, huh? Yeah. Oh, I will, I will stay away. I want to make yeah. my own mind up. I don't yeah. want to know what people think yet. Yes. Um, next week, we'll be doing the show on... Should be on Monday. Okay. Halo show comes out on Thursday. Halo show comes out, and we'll be talking about that. And on also the 20... Uh, yeah, we'll be talking about that the week Moon Knight comes out. Yes. 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 So, so nothing sure, this week. So it'll be a light week again next week. Yeah. I'm sure we'll have some. I'm sure news. something will happen. Yeah. We'll find something. We always find something. Maybe I'll maybe I, I've I've tried watching the boys diabolical and I can't do it. I'll say uh, I said we I mean, we were going to talk about that, but it's just not good. You yeah, I'm not you, a fan of it. You don't like it, and I haven't watched it. So. Yeah. Um it's more, probably your more your sense of humor, I guess. I would maybe. think. I'll try. Like Rick and Morty, I think you'll be into it. Well, I know the crazy. But I don't like either of those things. So. Well, I know he did one episode. I think different people did different episodes. Yeah, yeah. So, so that's I, I think might have been what it was, and I'm not a fan of Rick and Morty, so. So I haven't watched any of it though, so I don't know. Yeah. Um, I'll try to give it a shot this week, maybe. Yeah. Um, I did start watching Space Force. I'm only two episodes in, so that's why I didn't talk about it too much. Oh yeah, how is it? It's all right. It looks didn't look that good so yeah. i didn't bother yeah. with it i forgot it existed yeah um oh the adam project i'm hearing good things yes i'm still trying to find time to watch that and it's been announced that the director of um uh free, free guy, guy. Yeah. and uh, the adam project, project is, it, is doing deadpool 3 is it adam levy yes i think you're um, correct he has been announced to direct uh, Deadpool three for Which the is awesome because he's yeah. he's great. Him and Ryan Reynolds are, are awesome. Like they're a great team. They did a great job with Free Guy, and if this Adam Project's half as good as I'm hearing, it's gonna be it's gonna be good. So people I'm people are saying it's good. So I might check that out this week. Yeah. Um, maybe we'll give us some of these if we both watch it. We can talk about the Adam Project. Yeah, next week. let's make that our homework. Watch that. Right. So you have something right. to talk about next week. I love that idea. I'll watch. All right. It. I'll, I'll Sounds watch like it. a plan. All right. All right. And if you guys are watching us, watch the Adam Project, and then that way yeah. we won't spoil it for you. Yeah. Or if there's um, something out there that you guys are watching that you think we should watch, tell us because we're looking for things to watch because it's a lull in the time space continuum right now. 
So let us know. Throw us a throw us a bone here. Help us out. We can't keep track of everything. No, we cannot. Yeah. Um. So and uh, I guess that's it, Mark. Like us, follow us, subscribe to us on the old Facebook, the YouTube's, the iTunes, and Spotify. Uh, Spotify. We'll be back next week. We will. With uh, more geeking on. We will, and hopefully we'll finish that game that we've been playing forever, and we'll have a review of that. So be yeah. safe, be good, be kind. Bye, everybody. Rewind. Rewind.